Hello everyone, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today is Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. And I'm just looking for that first comment to let me know you can see me and hear me. And there went my notification, perfect. Okay, I'm looking for the comments. Hmm. Where are they? Okay, I don't know if I'm live. I think I'm live, but I can't tell. Something's changed. Um, okay, I can see that I am live, perfect. I still can't see comments yet though. So I can see thumbs up. Um, oh goodness, what in the world changed? You have to be on your toes with this stuff. Every week it changes. Window. There we go, okay, so perfect. <laughs> I don't know what happened, something closed and yeah, I couldn't see the comments, but now I see them. Sorry about that, would it take me a whole whopping two minutes? Technology, and it's not like I've used this system since last um, Tuesday, yeah. Okay, so let me go all the way back to the beginning really quick. Okay, so you can see me, you can hear me. Uh, I am doing good. Yes. Okay, are y'all ready to get started? Let me see if I can put my... Um... Oh, so the background has changed just for tonight because some of y'all ask, um, let's see. Um, there's my shelves back there. So some of y'all ask last week when we were stamping, um, if I could show the other side of my room where all my stamping storage units are. So that's, that's what it all looks like back there. Um, that's my cardstock, my designer series paper and my punches. Y'all already know that my ink pads and my stamping blends are over on the other side. Yeah. So Okay, let me put my face in the corner. Um, there we go. Just getting to the bottom of the comments. Okay, there we go. So this is the really cute project that we're making tonight. And I made this project, um, let me tell you the stats. So I made this project in 2014. Let me let me be exact. So nine years ago, I made a card in a box and uh, February 24th, 2014. So nine years ago, and it's been watched uh, 208,000 times. Um, I think it's in my top 20 uh, videos. And it was, um, I don't really know where my original is, but anyway, it was widely popular. And so we've changed the measurements a little bit. So before it was a square box, um, and I'll share the link when I do the blog post. Um, but now this is a this is a rectangle instead of a square. And it stands just like that. And it folds flat just like that. So it will fit in a standard envelope perfectly. And then the back of it is where you can sign it. Yeah. So, isn't it so cute? Yeah, that was a lot of views, right? Oh, thank you. I did get a new color for my nails. I felt like the pink, I had used the pink for so long. 
Um, yeah, and Lisa, I'm sorry the bunny punch sold out before I even got to show it to y'all, but we are actually not using the punch. We're going to fussy cut all of them. In fact, we're not even using the image um, that was used on our, yeah, the image that was used for the punch. So I'm going to get my supplies really quick. Um, we are doing a lot of stamping and fussy cutting, so I hope you're not in a hurry tonight. So this is the stamp set, Easter Bunny. So cute, right? And my supplies here, let me show you the measurements. Oh, you know what? Let me let me take a little lane swerve really quick. Uh, I'm going to paste in the comment section the link where you go to enter to win instant prizes. And I'm going to make one slight change this week. I'm going to go ahead and show you the instant prizes. So that way, if you don't want to enter to win, you don't have to. Um, instant prize is going to be at the very end of this video. And the first one is going to be this pack of Hello, not Hello, Sunshine and Rainbows. So that's instant prize number one. Instant prize number two is going to be the Oso oh Ombre Designer Series paper. And then instant prize number three is going to be this pack of ribbon. It's called Flowers for Every Season. And it's missing one roll of ribbon. It's missing the white. So I had to buy a bunch of these uh, for a card kit or something. And I needed only the white ribbon. So I'm, I was left with a lot of these. So that's, that's the reason why you're missing the white. It's gone. Um, so those are the instant prizes. I've just put the link in the uh, comments section. It may take you out of the video, but you can come right back in. And you can only um, enter to win once because the system only allows you to enter once, right? Yeah, if you haven't done it yet. Uh, Lisa, you can order just the stamp set, absolutely. And so after tonight's project, you guys are gonna see that you might just want this stamp set after all. Okay, so I'm gonna put the measurements on the screen. Um, here we go. Oh, let me make them smaller, just a little bit smaller. Okay, so if you want to, you can take a, a screenshot or you can take a picture with your phone. Uh, the blog post that has the free PDF and everything will be available tomorrow. Not tonight. I am tired. Okay, so take that off. So we're gonna start with the stamping, and if you need a drink of water or you need to run to the restroom, we're gonna be stamping and die cutting <laughs> everything. Let me put this over here in the corner. So I'll be in the right corner and the project will be in the um, left corner. Okay, bunny number one. And because this is a photopolymer stamp set, I like to use my mat my stampin mat okay i gotta see y'all's comments yes the same link every week so all i do is is i go and delete the links from the previous week so currently it has zero not links names so um yeah, so it's all clear. There's no entries from last week. I just delete them because if you notice on the form that you fill out, I actually say, I'm not sharing this information. I'm not saving it. I'm not emailing y'all or anything. I'm just using it for prizes. So I just delete them every time. Okay, there's bunny number one. And bunny number two, <laughs> they're so cute. On our team call today, uh, we were talking about cute stamp sets. I love this one. Okay, stamping that once. And then the flowers we're gonna do two times. Okay, the only thing I have not stamped is the greeting, so I'll do that on another sheet. Yes, there is a serious lag. 
Hi, Emily. Oh, wait. Yeah, Sue, if you go to enter to win the prize or YouTube Chick Candy or what what am I doing? Instant prizes. Um, it will kick you out for a second. So you have to come back to the video unless you open up another uh, window. Like open up another window. Yeah. I did move it. I move. I yeah. I I try to move it around different places each week. My little color pop um, heart face stamp. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be doing lots of coloring. Um, these are my Stampin' Blend markers. Um, so we're using Flirty Flamingo. Uh, the Bronze and Ivory, So Saffron, Mint Macaron, Highland Heather, and the Color Lifter. And where am I going to start? I think I'm going to start with the Flirty Flamingo. That looks funny with those markers right there by my face. I really want to see this bunny, see how I colored it. Okay. So I'm going to start with the ears, and I have a little hack for y'all. I probably should take my face off the camera to do this. Have you, So for those of y'all that, that use readers, if you don't use readers yet, you will eventually someday. Um, so I don't need really strong readers to stamp most of the days, but... When it's, some, when it's coloring, I can't really see very well, especially when it's like seven o'clock at night. Did y'all know that you can put a second pair of readers on and um, you can see perfectly? <laughs> it's like a magnifying glass. So don't laugh, but I can really see now. <laughs> My husband discovered this, like you know how you get like uh, prescription bottles or you get something and you can't read it to save your life because the font is like ant size. Well, just put on a second pair of readers and it works perfect. You might look a little silly, but I'm okay looking silly for a very short period, right? Just while I'm coloring, I'll take them, I'll take them off. Okay, I think that's it for that. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, add a little pink on there. Okay, now I'm going to use the ivory to color the bunny. Huh, I think I went over the eye a little bit. Oh well. Yeah, we, we got a baby invita baby shower invitation in the mail. And I was like, I can't read the writing. It's too small. It's too faint. And David's like, here, take my readers. And um, I was like, holy smokes. That really magnified it. I'm concentrating because I don't want to mess up. I need the fine tip for this one. Did you know that the brush tip is lighter than the fine tip? Is y'all's markers that way? It's almost like it's a completely different color. This looks like creamy caramel way back. Y'all remember that color that we used to have? I'm talking about that too because we're having a color refresh, which I'm really super excited about. And um, creamy caramel used to be one of our colors, right? Now, as I'm saying that, I'm like, that was a color, right? If I had had time, I would have colored some of these in advance, but um, we had our team call today. I had some more shipping to do. I don't think I've sat down today other than like right now. Yeah, I, I haven't sat down. Okay, we're done coloring the bunny. 
And next is the flowers. Um, so I'm going to start with the Highland Heather. And I'm going to color this flower. Um, I'm not going to color those little thingies because we're cutting that one off on that one. But on this one, we're not cutting it off, so I will color those little thingies, whatever they are. Okay, and then now this one, um, this block, this block, this block. I think that's it on um, for the purple. Yeah, it is. Now we're going to use the dark so saffron. Now, don't y'all agree that um, you like the other side of my room better now that you're looking behind me? Don't you like the countertop better? I do. Oh, I colored that the... No, I didn't. Wait, I colored that the wrong color. Grr. I'll stamp it again. No. Eh. You know what? I'll add another color in there. That's what I'll do. We'll do a purple in there to fix the mistake. I like it better with all pink, but oh well, it is what it is, right? And this one, so the first time I made it, I colored the um, this egg with the with the um, Spit it out, Angie. I colored it with the dark mint macaron, and then I did the um, spots with the light. And this time I'm just leaving it blank. White, I'm leaving it white, not blank. <laughs> okay, I see a couple more spots that I need to color. Oh, I don't like this as well as I did the other one. Oh, it's okay. Not the end of the world. Y'all might like it better. Oh, the dots. And now we got to do the greenery. I'm almost done coloring. I think the only color I have left is um, pink, right? Flirty Flamingo. Now, for the fussy cutting. See, I told y'all, um, if you needed to go, um, if you needed to go grab a drink of water or something, um, I do better fussy cutting with smaller pieces, so I'm just chopping this up so that I can fussy cut it. It's been cold and rainy. Like we had a really good day the other day. The weather was really nice. 
and then um, and then it got cold. I actually had to turn the heat up to like 70 today. I got really chilled. I just could not get warm. My sister called a couple of times. She's like, are you running a fever? You're never cold. I'm like, I know, I'm, oh darn. I think I just threw one of the flowers on the floor. <laughs> I did. That's okay, I can pick it up. It's right here. That's what I get for throwing it in the floor, right? I do sweep every couple days. Aw, that's nice. I think it's therapeutic to actually color too. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put those second pair of readers on now for the cutting. It just is like magic at how well you can see with a second pair of readers on. I'm hoping I'm in the camera view. Not very well, right? I need to scoot up. So have y'all watched, while I've got all this fussy cutting to do, um, have y'all watched Ted Lasso? <laughs> My friend, I've had several friends, but one in particular that told me last March that I should watch it. And I don't know why I waited so long. I have no clue. Um, this weekend when I was working on card club packets, I had lots of hours of work to do and you know it's assembly line work so you can watch TV and assemble at the same time or work and um, I watched both season one and season two and I have that song stuck in my head that Jamie Tar is it tart 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 <laughs> I don't know. stuck in my head um, and then is it Roy Kent is that his name He's so hilarious. Like when I started watching that, I did not think I was going to like him. And he is so funny. But he certainly needs a wax. <laughs> Have y'all seen, you've never seen Ted Lasso? No? Um... <laughs> it's on Apple TV. Seriously, it's now some like my sister don't like watching people that imitate southern accents. She kind of feels like I don't know. She kind of feels like they're making fun of us. I don't really care. I, personally, I like having my accent. Now, I will say that when I first moved here, everybody gave me grief, or especially when I moved to Illinois. Oh, goodness. Um, but so he does have um, a southern accent, or I'm not even sure it's southern because he's from Kansas in the show. But anywho, I love it. It makes me laugh. It's it's a little it's a little crazy, um, but you know everything in life is so serious. Like it's nice to just. Um, it's nice to be able to just laugh. This is the one that I'm going to cut some of the pieces off. We're almost done. I am in the camera view, right? Yeah. This is the one that's going to go on the bunny's neck. So, I've talked about Ted Lasso. Now I'm all caught up. Now I'm all sad. Season three has started, but I have to, but you only get like one episode a week. I can't handle that. So, I'm not watching. I watched one episode and then it was like, I was like, whoa, where did it go? And now it's like, okay, once a week. So, I'll just, I'm stopping at this point and I'll pick it back up. So, what are y'all watching? What's something that, that you're hooked on? 
And I don't do scary, so that's not an option for me. I got spooked last week um, when I was here alone. And I actually got my pistol out. <laughs> David's like, he wishes he had a camera. I, I was scared. I really heard like, like a noise, like somebody was in the house and it was like 1030 at night. And I was, I was honestly scared. So I got my pistol out and I walked through the house and I was saying, I'm not afraid to use this. And I said it real loud and I walked through the whole house with it. I went downstairs and checked. Then I checked all my security cameras. Nobody was here. Um, I never took the safety off, but I'm just saying that I'm not afraid to use it. But I felt really foolish afterwards, but I don't know. Do y'all get, I get, I get spooked when I hear certain noises and see certain things. And let's face it, if you watch the news every day, you know there is a lot of crazy people out there. I've just talked for like five minutes solid, didn't I? And yes, when Olivia gets to be of walking age, they will go back in the safe. We will not have guns out. We didn't, when our kids were growing up, they were always locked up in a safe. Okay, one more set and we're done. Whew. I know y'all were like, how long are we going to be here? It's really been 27 minutes. So sorry. I, I did not have time to cut these off screen. But the card making part, part is really quick. So in an ideal situation, we would have dies for all of these. And we wouldn't have had to fussy cut anything. But not very often do my animals get dies. That's why I was so happy with playing in the rain that it had coordinating dies. I'm gonna have to look back at y'all's comments. I can see the comments are rolling, but I, I'm not gonna look up for fear of cutting myself or cutting the image. <laughs> I still have that Jamie, is it Tart Tart? I have that song stuck in my head. Anybody, is anybody on here? Um, has, somebody has watched it. I'm not by myself here, am I? Okay, everything is cut except for the greeting. And um, so we need to die cut the greeting. And that's using the pretty pil pillow box dies. And then this oval is from the... Um, mm, um, Framed florets. It's, yeah. So we're going to cut out the oval and then cut out the greeting. And then we'll be able to assemble, which will go pretty quickly. There isn't dies. I, I wish there was dies, but there isn't. Yeah. No. No dies. In a perfect world, we'd have them, right? Oh, goodness. I got my window sheet out early. We don't need that yet. Okay, scissors. Move the mouse. Oh, you're starting 1883. I'm going to watch it again. You know, I don't normally get stuck on songs, but there's just something funny about them singing... Uh, it's just something catchy about it. I don't know what it is. I'm going to do this one first. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of catchy. It's probably because I, I watched, I watched like every episode back to back. Like I watched two seasons in like two days. Okay, there's our oval. And then we're going to cut our greeting out. Okay. 
Come back here, bunny. <laughs> okay, now where did my oval go? Did it go with the die cut machine too? <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's just my luck. It sticks to the bottom. <sighs> okay. Well, we got to make the box, don't we? Y'all are like, man, she is um, <laughs> slow tonight, right? Okay, let me pull up the measurements again because we need to score. So this piece measures four by 11. And then these two pieces measure, I don't know. Uh, these measure four and a quarter by one. And we're gonna score them at, I'm gonna have to make this smaller because I gotta, I gotta score this. I will remember tonight, 1883 is the one with Tim and Faith, absolutely. I actually like 1923 better. Uh, there wasn't, <laughs> y'all are gonna laugh at this one, but there wasn't very many hot men in 1883. I don't think there was a single one. <laughs> um, but in 1923, okay, so, Four by eleven and uh, three and a quarter, five and a quarter, eight and a half, and ten and a half. And then I'm going to turn it on the four inch side and score at two and a quarter. And then these pieces I'm going to score at a half an inch on each side. Okay. I will have a template for this tomorrow. So we're gonna fold on the score lines. Uh, the set that we're using for April is Silly Goose. I just cannot resist. And you know what, there's really, it's probably one of the safest ones to use because um, so much stuff has been on back order that there's no coordinating dies to it, so it's safe to use, yeah. And I, I think you're gonna like the cards. They've already been designed. Now, I, my, my template here is going to keep me from getting confused. So down here, we're just gonna cut up to the score line on all four, is that right, four? Yeah. And then this piece here we're gonna remove. And angle cut that a little. You don't have to. So this is where we're going to put our adhesive. Oh, my stomach's growling. I have not eaten dinner yet. I ha not tonight, but I have used the Rhino Bundle. I used it a couple of times, um, what, a couple weeks ago, right? Wait, did I do that right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Makes you wonder, right? And I didn't cut straight on this one, so... Where's my scissors? Where'd I put them? Here they are. Okay, I can take the measurements off. I said I was gonna remember and then I didn't. 
<sighs> yeah, when I went back to check uh, last week's video, I was like, grr, somebody should have texted me. Although I probably wouldn't have even looked at it. Um, I kept the measurements on the screen for way too long. I'm just cleaning these up since I didn't cut them exactly right. Well, I just didn't cut them on the score line the way I wanted to. So now we're going to add the designer series paper. So this is the back panel because it has um, where we adhered it. So I'm just going to add that there. Um, I did not use the Rhino for Card Club because um, the reason I didn't is because they are not guaranteeing the products and they've asked us to not actually use them for events because they could be here today and gone tomorrow. So yeah, so the online exclusive products, some will come back when they sell out. For example, the punches sold out immediately, um, but they're coming back. So the one and three quarter circle punch and the two inch circle punch will be returning. Um, but I'm assuming that when the Rhino sells out, the dies, it's gone. It won't be back. They haven't told us. They don't tell us which ones will be back and which ones won't. They've just said it's a possibility that certain products will not return. So, yeah, I don't... After the fiasco of the daisies going on back order this month, oh, I couldn't believe it. It was like, talk about raining on my parade. We made it work though, didn't we? And they came in, and every the last, um, the la the first round shipped out yesterday, and the second round ran out today. So I paid to have them ship second day air. Okay, that is not the right measurement. This one goes here. Yeah, I paid for expedited shipping so that I could get those daisies in real quick. Okay, call the midwife. I haven't seen that. Yes, I will post the link for the instant prizes. It may take you out, but you can come right back in. Don't need that in here anymore. I was going to make two projects for y'all tonight, and then I woke up this morning with, I get headaches when the when it's raining. I don't, I guess, what is that, sinus headaches? Yeah, so for the first several hours, I had a headache. And then the, it makes you tired when you have a headache, doesn't it? Yeah, so I'm like, it didn't take me long today to say, okay, never mind. I'm only making one project tonight. But it's really cute. Okay. So, rut row. There we go. Now, so the base is done. So now we need to add the... Um, the panels for our, um, to do our thingies, <laughs> our thingies. Um, I'm sorry that you're kicking yourself that you didn't get the bunny, you know, and I've started saying that now that if you have your heart set on something, do not delay because the world that we live in now, stuff is gone. And that's how it is in the, um, 
in the fabric world, like if you snooze, you lose. Like that fabric goes fast and you're like, oh man, what am I going to do? And then and then people charge like an arm and a leg to get to get it. Okay, so y'all see what I'm doing? I put glue on both ends and I'm just going to, and I actually shouldn't have used liquid glue because now I'm gonna get it all over my box. Grr. Yeah, I should have used a different adhesive, a dry adhesive or a glue dot. Okay, there's the first one. It's not straight, but it doesn't have to be. And then now the next one. And this time I am gonna use my um, stamp and seal. I feel like I'm fumble fingers right now. Okay, get in there. <laughs> okay, so the way that you know if you got it right is when you go to fold it. Um, yeah, and I didn't. Okay. Yeah. That's the best way is put your adhesive on there and then fold it flat. Yeah, that's the hardest part is, is the strips. It really is. And I think maybe I might have cut that one a little too long. It looks like it's a little too long, but it's okay. My adhesive is not actually sticking for some reason. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because of the the uh, moisture in the air. I'll hold it for a second. Okay, now. We're going to add our... Um, uh, the wreath to this bunny's neck. The wreath of flowers. So I'm just going to use... Liquid glue. Yeah, somebody told me to watch some spooky show. I think it was called, is it called The Watcher? Where you don't find out who did it at all. Like, I don't like to watch shows that, that I don't eventually find out who did what. Um, yeah, I didn't like it at all. I'm trying to get my other window sheet. Come on. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to use mini glue dots to attach the window sheet to the bunny. So there's that one. And then I'm going to use a glue dot to add him or her or it to the box or card, whatever you want to call it. Is that where I put it? No, I'm glad I stopped myself. <laughs> well, come on. There we go. I would probably go down here and, and use another glue dot just to make it more stable. And then we're gonna add this just with glue dots also. So I'm just gonna put one on the green or a mint macaron. And then this is gonna go over here 
like that. And then this one's going to get added with a glue dot. And then another glue dot to add it to the box or a card. Oh, he's sideways. That's funny. Um, and then now we need to do the front. Use two glue, glue dots, not one, to attach your bunnies, okay? So now let's add our oval here. And then we're going to add the greeting. You can pop this up if you want to. Um, I did and then I took it off. The dimensionals. I decided to let them be the focus. You know, popping them up. And after we add the flowers, then we're going to add our embellishments. Isn't it so cute? I love it. Okay, we're using rhinestones for this project. And I hope, whoops, oh, a random glue dot. I hope that they don't uh, leave our catalog. We get to see the new catalog, I think, in next week. Um, is it next week? I'm so terrified of losing the rhinestones because it's like my go-to for every 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 time I need an embellishment. Okay, so I'm actually going to put a lot of them on here. So three on this cluster of flowers. My big light over here, my big huge light is, it's making, row, row, it's making humming sounds or white noise now. Can y'all hear it? <laughs> okay. We're all done. Whew, it took me 49 minutes. Well, the biggest part was the um, fussy cutting. So I need to add this to the back panel, but we're gonna go ahead and do the um, announcements. So YouTube Chick Candy, we're gonna take a little break from the project. We're almost done, but um, last week's winners, that's not last week's, that's tonight's. This is last week's winners. Uh, the only thing that hasn't been claimed is Linda's uh, adhesive bag and chick stand. Uh, Linda, if you're on here tonight, I have not heard from you. Um, yeah, so that's last week's. Those are the winners. Tonight, okay, Angie. So tonight, um, the way that you enter to win is after the video is over on YouTube, leave a comment after the video is over in the comment section, and I will draw the winner next Thursday. So the first name I draw is going to win the Playing in the Rain Dies, the second, the stamp set, and the third is going to be the stamp set. So here's the three gifts that I'm going to be drawing for on Thursday morning at 9 o'clock. Okay, so all you have to do is leave a comment on the video. I use Comment Picker and it randomly draws. So it makes my life so much easier that I don't have to count everything. Um, so that's, those are YouTube Chick Candy. The instant prizes we will do in just a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you my current host code, which is right here. You get to choose a set of Stampin' Blend markers or you can choose or you can choose the 
uh, clear bag with the dimensionals and liquid glue. And let's see, what else do I have? And here's the measurements one more time for those of you, if you wanna take a screenshot, it will be available on my free PDF tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Now, back to the project. So for the, the way that we sign this, if you're gonna give it to someone, is we just add this back panel back here. So I'm just gonna get my liquid glue. And if you're just now showing up, I know some of y'all have said you're you're just now getting here. This um, this does fold up flat, and you can mail it. I would I would suggest that um, that you put cardstock. Oh, do y'all want to see the birthday cards I got tonight? It'll keep y'all here a little bit longer. Um, oh, I forgot to show you the. Hold on, rewind. So this is the, rut row, there's glue on my desk. This is the chick candy I posted uh, on my website today. So I made this drawstring bag last night. Isn't the fabric just so cute? Look at the little bunnies. Um, so this is my blog chick candy and it includes the, the bag and alphabet Alamo dies. Yeah, that we used last week, remember? And then this is the one that I did the video of this weekend. It's so cute. Okay, now, um, do y'all want to see all the birthday cards I got? So here's how it folds. And then it sets. So it will go in a standard envelope, but it's a little thick, so... You might have to pay extra postage because it's thick. Yeah. Thank you. I love it too. <laughs> um, I think if y'all were okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you the birthday cards because... Uh, I've had them for a couple weeks now, and a few of them are non-birthday cards. They're like other cards, like thank you cards. Let's see. I want to... Hold on. I got liquid glue on there, and I just do not want to get glue on stuff. And I don't want to get glue on my baskets either. Let me put these over here. Okay. Oh, I have to show y'all something. This is one of my uh, presents um, that Brooke gave me. So her friend drew Elvis and Gizmo on this ornament, and it, it was my present. She does really beautiful um, drawings of people's pets. So if you need somebody to draw your pet, let me know. I'll give you... Um, her website, but isn't that so cute of Elvis and Gizmo? I love it so much. Okay, cards. These are in no particular order, okay? So these are just cards that I've received uh, this month. I think I think all of them are for this month. Maybe um, th this one's in February, so look how cute. Who is this one from? Oh, this one's from Julie. She won the Stamparatus. And she made this thank you card because she got the Stamparatus. Isn't that so darling? Thank you, Julie. I think there's another card in here from you as well. Um, this one, Kathy, this is your this is this is a Valentine card you sent me. This is from my downline, Kathy. Isn't it cute? Okay, the next one. Um, this one is a birthday card. Okay, so this one is from... Hey, Pat, you won the chick candy today. Oh my gosh. So Pat sent me a birthday card. That's so nice. Ah, see, it's like... 
when you do good deeds, things come back, right? And when you do bad ones, they also come back. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this one's from Jackie. Oh, Lisa and Jackie. This is from Lisa, my friend. Oh, yeah, my Jackie. It's from Lisa and Jackie. Very pretty. And this one is from, this one really is from a Jackie. Look at this card. Isn't this so cool? Yeah, so I love it. Oh, animals. I haven't used them in a while. I should. And the next one is so cute. This one's from Carrie. Look how cute. That's neat, right? Thank you, Carrie. I just sent her chick rewards this week too. Uh, this one is from a local customer. Um, I don't think that Angie ever watches my videos, but she makes the most beautiful cards. And yeah, she sent me a, a birthday card. It's so pretty, isn't it? I should have texted her and said thank you. My life has kind of been a little whirlwind. Whirl, did I say that right? Y'all know I struggle with my R's and W's. Uh, this one's from Terry. Oh, she wrote me a note. I did read my note. Very pretty. This one's from Jamie. This is one of my downline. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I don't think I even have that stamp set, but now that I look at it, it's like, oh, I like those flowers. This one is from Rayleigh. Now, this is brilliant. I'm excited to be showing y'all this because she, she, when she sent me this card, she it was sent with it flipped right side in. And so, so that way the post office wouldn't charge you extra postage. So, because it has these embellishments, and the post office will either pick them out, they'll cut, them, they'll cut them out, or they'll charge you extra postage. So, she just turned it right side in, and then, isn't that brilliant? So, I'm so happy to discover that. Yeah, that's brilliant. I love the owls. Next, uh, this one's from Betty. This is another downline. This one is really amazing. So I, I don't even, I've never even made a card like this before. Yeah, pretty neat, right? I'm gonna have to make one though. I don't know what it's called. So thanks, Betty. Hopefully we're gonna get to see each other at another Stampin' Up! event again. It's been so long. Um. Is this one from I think it says Anita I think let's see yeah so um, oh she wants some paper and a stamp set you're very welcome I think she actually won that paper this one is from Rand Randy you're on here uh, so this cards from Randy she won chick candy, so that's her thank you card. I love how you did this. And those embellishments. I only have a couple more. Uh, the next card is from Rayleigh. You sent me another one. This one's from January. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, that's so nice. I think she won a drawstring bag. Oh, I have three more. Um, this one is from Tracy. Isn't that cute? Oh, she put an extra piece of cardstock over it so that 
she wouldn't have to pay extra postage or that the po so the post office wouldn't pick off the embellishments. Yeah, so that's why this paper's on there to protect it. So cute. Two more cards. So this card that I'm sharing with you is from my DDM. I think that's what Chad is at Stampin' Up. So I earned the Mexico uh, incentive trip. Not Is it Mexico? It's a cruise. Yeah. So next year's incentive trip. Um, and he sent me this card. Isn't that nice? It's so cute. I just love that Taco Fiesta stamp set. And the final card, um, this one's from Julie also. This one's really cute. I love how she rounded the corners of, of this layer. Don't you love that? It's very different. I remember doing that years and years ago that we, we uh, rounded the corners on all our cards. I did, I got a bunch of really nice cards. Um, Deb, I'd be happy to give you my address. Um, I didn't go to the million dollar event because I haven't reached I haven't reached another one and it's going to be a while cuz sales are like pfft, way down. Yeah. No, I I didn't go because I'm I'm um I'm it's going to be a few years. <laughs> I I'm just hoping I get to go to another one cuz the way sales are right now, it's like uh I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, if, I'll be happy to give you my address. If you will, let me put my email address up there real quick for a second. There you go. Shoot me an email. And I'll be happy to give you. Oh, you've not heard of them taking off the embellishments? You've never gotten a card where there's a there's like a perfect circle. They must have some kind of tool. Um, I've gotten a ton of envelopes where... Um, there's a just the perfect circle in the card where they've completely just removed the embellishment. Thanks, Cliffy. Oh, I've probably had at least 10 cards where it had a little circle cut out and the embellishment was missing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to scroll back and look. Um, thank y'all. Yeah, I'm not going to put my address on the comments here, but if you email me, yeah, the post office can, they can either, they can charge you, they can send your card back, or they can pick off the embellishment and run it through the machine. It really kind of depends on the employee, right? It's up to them. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of really nice cards. Yeah, she did such a perfect job of Elvis and Gizmo. It looks like it looks professional, right? I mean, it's just amazing. I got teary-eyed when she when I when she gave it to me. She brought me some flowers and then and then this and I was like, "Oh, so beautiful." I have to protect it though. I don't want to get anything on it. I'm not sure what kind of ink she used. Um Oh, the Elvis movie was amazing. Can I just tell you though, I started crying the minute that movie started and and when it ended I think I sobbed for 30 minutes I actually watched it when I had COVID in December and of course I'm an Elvis fan um yeah my age makes me an, an Elvis fan right oh somebody gave me a thumbs down <laughs> they're not here anymore, I'm sure. Because if they're giving me a thumbs down, they're not going to be sticking around, right? <laughs> okay, I've scrolled back um, as far back as I can. So, one question is, is how much liquid glue do I go through? I can pretty much tell you that I go through um, one of these. I go through two of them a month, usually, typically. Depending on what I'm doing, like I just did um, the little card inserts um, for card club, and I didn't I didn't use any glue. I just was doing stamping and coloring. So sometimes I go through more if I'm if I'm stamping more, but typically I go through two of these a month. Yeah, that was a good question. You're welcome for the free PDFs. I actually really like making them. There's things that I really love doing, like I really like editing videos. 
um, is by the bay back in stock. Oh, I got to do the Wheel of Names real quick. Y'all are probably saying, when is she ever going to do the drawing? I'm just rattling on. Okay, so let's do the prizes real quick. Everybody have their name in there? I'll give you one, one, more, one more chance really quick. Um, I'm going to go over there and get the names real quick. Okay. Bella, I'm almost done. So I've got the wheel of names up. Now I gotta open up my the document and get all the names. Okay, come on, it's a little slow. Okay, that is not it. Where in the world has it gone? Ah, <sighs> grr. Y'all are gonna kill me. It's not popping up on my Google Drive. Where in the world is it? Okay, I'm going to go out and come back in. That is the strangest thing. Okay, I'm in my drive. Okay, did somebody hijack my form? Olivia's doing great. I gasped really loud because somebody just gave me a thumbs down. Um, I mean, I've only been using Wheel of Names for a couple weeks. So, so sorry that I don't really know how to find it now. So somebody do me a favor. If somebody didn't enter to win, is the link still working? Because it's completely gone from my drive. Like it's not there. Somebody tell me, um, here's the link. Can y'all tell me if the form is still working? Because I can't, I can't pull up the spreadsheet. That is the strangest thing. The form's not there, or it is. <sighs> found it. There's 91 responses. <laughs> uh, the good thing is, is if some of y'all have left, if, yours na if your name is drawn, um, okay, so I'm fixing to share my screen so that y'all can see it. For some reason, the entries or the document is like in La La Land, like it should come up in recent and it didn't. Okay, so now there's 94 names. So copy, and then now I'm going to share my screen. It stresses me out so much when someone gives me a thumbs down. Okay, share and screen. So somebody let me know really quick. Can you see my screen? Can you see the, the name spinning?
Um, can y'all see the spinning wheel? Yeah? Okay. Perfect. So. So prize number one went to Jan. Congrats, Jan. L-E-G-L-E-R. Okay, remove. Danette, D-A-N. <laughs> and then now the third one. Gian. <laughs> that applause is so funny, isn't it? Okay, congrats. Uh, if y'all are not present, I will I will get y'all's email and um, let me stop screen sharing. Oops. What have I done? Okay. So here's the three winners. And I will email y'all. I'll, I'll get y'all's email off of the spreadsheet before I delete all the names, okay? Congrats, everyone. So don't forget when the video's over to leave a comment on this video, and I will draw the winners for my YouTube Chick Candy on Thursday morning. Um, any other questions before I sign off? So sorry I kept y'all so late tonight. Okay, I don't know why that is on my screen. That's crazy. Yes, congrats to all the winners. <laughs> oh, y'all can hear the applause. That is funny, isn't it? I hope it's not too loud. Oh, you think somebody fat fingered it? Well, that would be nice. Yeah, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. Uh, later this week, I'm going to also be announcing about how to get the new uh, catalog. I'm having to make some changes um, uh, due to the sales issue. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to be having uh, my customers fill out a form. And I've been doing the form, while, uh, form thing for a while now. But um, the criteria for getting a catalog is going to be changing a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to sign off. I will probably have a project for you on Friday. I don't have Card Club to cut for this week, so I should be able to get another video for y'all. I, I couldn't get another one last week because I was still cutting and packing and sorting and what have you, uh, but that's done, so I should be able to, to make you another project later this week. Yeah, I'd like to make you two projects a week. Um, some weeks it just it doesn't work out. I feel like there's still something I should be telling y'all, but I don't know. I, I can't remember. I'll see y'all again next Tuesday. And plus, if you if you subscribe to my blog, um, I will, I, if I remember what I was going to tell you, I'll make sure I put it on the blog post tomorrow. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Have a good night. See you later.